Y'all set? You got a good show tonight? Ain't yes, ready to we go? do. Yeah. Well, as I mentioned over there on the monologue, uh, Martha Stewart got out of prison today. That's big news for all of us in the late night talk show business. It's huge. Because whoever books Martha first is going to get giant ratings, massive ratings. Now, I'd like to think I have a pretty decent shot. I'll, why are you laughing at that? I think I have an amazing shot. After all, Martha has been here many times. We've always had a lot of fun. I've always treated her with dignity. Take a look at this clip. Mm, Would you take a big me. bite out of this Taco Bell burrito? Is it going to fall all over me? Yeah, and then you can wash it down with the 800. Mm. So I'm going to make my pitch tonight right here on the show. Martha, I'm talking to you. I know you're up watching uh, the show right now. Uh, and I want Late Night with Conan O'Brien to be the first talk show you do. And I'm going to try and convince you tonight with a little piece I'm calling Luring Martha. <laughs> this is actually how I swim, too. So... <laughs> Martha, we're going to start, we're going to lure her to the show with this piece tonight. Martha, we're going to start things off with a musical plea from our, uh, from our trumpet player, old sugar throat, Mark Pender. If anyone can get uh, you to come on our show, uh, it's Mark. Take it away, Mark. Congratulations, Martha. Your prison stand is through. You paid your debt to society, and we're all so proud of you. Oh, Martha, how we missed you. Conan rode you every day. And he never called you an evil bitch that was Little Man and Jay. Oh, Martha! That's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mark Pender, everybody. All right. He never does that at rehearsal. I don't understand. All right. Now, Martha, one excuse you're likely to make is that, uh, you know, for not coming on our show, is you're going to say you can't come to our studio because you're under house arrest. Nice try, Martha. I've already solved that problem. On this map, we see your house up there in Katona, New York, and Rockefeller Center, where we tape the show in Midtown Manhattan. Well, Martha, you have the money to build a series of additions that extend from your existing house 43 miles south to our studio in Rockefeller Center. Problem solved. You just walk right down the hall. So. We're luring her here. We're getting her here with these arguments. All right, Martha, here's another one. Here's something no other show would do for you. After five long months, you've probably gotten used to certain aspects of prison life. So we're going to modify our set so that your first visit back is more comfortable. This is how it's going to look during the interview. Isn't that great? You're going to have <laughs> good time. And it's going to be, I think, it's a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy yourself. All right, now, Martha, let's talk about the next thing I think. Uh, hey, be... Conan? Uh, yeah, Max? You know, Conan, I was just thinking, Martha might be a good guest to book on the show. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Max. Oh. Have you been paying attention? No. Well, that's what we're trying to do here at the top of the show. We want her here as a guest because she's led an interesting life. She's one of the most powerful women in the world. Uh, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah, she's powerful. I just think that bitch is hot. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, yeah, I mean, there's just something about her. You know, she's been in prison. She's a bad girl. Probably needs a good, hard spanking. <laughs> Okay, Max, I don't think Martha Stewart wants you to spank her. Oh, I get it, Conan. <laughs> it
Ignore him, Martha. Back to me. I'll get you here. Martha, if you do our show first, we'll throw in something you're sure to enjoy, a long line of personal assistance for you to abuse all the way from your dressing room into the studio. Take a look at how that's going to be. It's going to be great. We're ready for you, Miss Stewart. Martha, here's a slightly different approach. I'm going to present an image so disturbing, so abhorrent, you'll be forced to come on the show just to stop it from happening. I'm sure, Martha, you remember one of our show's most beloved characters, Shoeverine, the failed X-Men character with shoes for hands. There he is right there. <laughs> well, look at this, Martha. Here's Shoeverine, but look, he's wearing white loafers, and it's before Memorial Day. Huh? Right out of get her. What's that? Really? You did it, Shuverine. I've just been told. I've just been told that Martha Stewart's been watching. She wants to talk to us via satellites. Good thing the show is live. Please give a warm welcome to Ms. Martha Stewart. Let's get her in here. So, uh, good evening, Martha. Hello, Conan. All right, now... Now, Martha... Martha, you must be very happy to be out of prison. I thought I'd be happy, Conan. But now that I'm out, all I can think of is finding ways to get back in. Back in? Martha, that makes no sense. You're, you're free now. You can go back to your life. That life is gone, bro. When I see old tapes of myself, I don't even recognize that hoe. Okay, I see. But, but I'm sure, Martha, I'm sure you're anxious to get back to running your company. I'm through with that homemaker crap. I learned on the inside how to make real money. That's why starting Monday, I'll be shaking down Korean grocery stores, running guns out of Mexico, and converting my Connecticut horse stable into a ramshackle crystal meth lab. Martha, you make crystal meth now? You know it, G. Why do you think rival dealers all call me the crank skank? Okay, Martha, that's horrible. I still want you to come on this, this show before you do any other show. Well, I'll have to think about it, Cone. Well, Martha, don't think about it. Just say yes. It'll be great. I promise I'll give it every consideration. Oh, come on, Martha. We're old friends. Please, Conan, I don't like to be pushed. I'm not pushing you, Martha. I just think it'd be really good if you had... I said I don't like to be pushed. Now you must pay. Soon my fire-breathing hell monkeys will descend upon you, rip your soul from your pale withered carcass, and drag it down to my realm of eternal darkness. All right, all right, all right. Do what you want. Martha Stewart, everybody. We'll be right back. Vin Diesel's here. I'm sorry. 